Hello there, and thank you very much for joining us in this new Azure Portal How To Video. Today, we will learn how to manage a storage account using the Azure Portal, and we have Misha Dar with us today that is going to show us how to do that with the Azure Portal. So thank you very much for joining us today, Misha. Thank you so much for having me, Leon. It's so good to be back. In our last video, we actually demoed how to create a storage account in Azure. And so today, we're going to take that same storage account and show you how you can manage the account settings within it. That sounds fantastic. Let's take a look at how you do it. Awesome. Let's jump in. So first, we need to find the storage account we wish to manage. If you're looking to find a full list of storage accounts in your subscriptions, navigate to storage accounts in the portal and choose the desired account. Here, we can see the account we just created under recent resources. Let's click here to jump in. This is the overview page for storage accounts. We provide links to your resource group and your subscription, as well as important details about your account. You can launch the Storage Explorer desktop client if you'd like to manage your account's scale. You can also delete or move your account to a different subscription or resource group. Below, we have a property section that highlights key settings across the different sub-resources. Blobs, files, queues, and tables, as well as settings that apply to the entire account, like security and networking. Here we can see the state of all these settings, and wherever there's a hyperlink, it means that we can click on said link to modify the setting. You don't need to know where each of these settings sits within the storage account. Just click the link to make the change. So for example, let's change the retention period for blob soft delete from seven days to 14 days. Just click on this link, and you're navigated to the data protection page, where we change the seven to a 14, click save, and we're done. If we go back to the overview page, we can see that the change has been applied. Next, we can click over to the monitoring tab. Here we present key metrics for the account, like total data ingress and egress. You can scope the charts displayed to either the entire account or a specific sub resource. Clicking on a chart will give you a full screen view and additional metrics functionality. We also provide you with some quick links at the bottom of the page to other monitoring and alerting resources within Azure. The Capabilities tab presents key functionality within the storage account. Click on any one of the tiles to learn more and modify the setting or the feature. Let's take a look at security as an example. A click on the tile, and we're on the page where we can opt into Microsoft Defender for storage. We just click a button to enable Defender, and there we go. And if we go back to the Capabilities tab on the Overview page, we can now see that Defender has been configured and is protecting our storage account. On the next tab, we present recommendations for the resource based on Azure Advisor. Since this account is brand new, and is following the Azure best practices, there's no action for us today. But if there were potential security, reliability, or other concerns, Azure Advisor would flag them for you here. You can always jump into Azure Advisor for a detailed view across your subscriptions. Moving on, we come to the Tutorials tab. Here we provide quick links to documentation, quick starts, guided tutorials, as well as free training that Microsoft offers to all Azure users. If you need to learn more about how storage accounts work, this is the place to dive in. Lastly, we come to, to developer tools. Here we provide quick links to client libraries in a couple of different languages. We also have links to key management tools, the Storage Explorer desktop client is a useful utility to manage accounts at scale without having to log into the Azure portal. You can also find it in the command bar at the top of the page. If you're working with multiple storage accounts, this is a great tool to utilize. If you're looking to use automated tools like PowerShell or Azure command line interface, 
We also provide links to key commands for those touch points. Thank you very much, Misha. That was great. A lot of fantastic detail. I learned a lot and I hope you learned a lot too. Please try this out. Let us know what you think. Leave us a comment in the comment section. If this is the first video about storage that you see, Misha did another one with us where he showed how to create a storage account, the same storage account that he was managing in this video. Next, Misha is going to come back and show us how to manage the contents of a storage account. And it's a video that you really would want to see. So look forward to seeing you in that next one. Bye for now.